Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, my name is Tanya and today I'm gonna to be doing a flip through of my 2023 Project Life Volume 1, which is January through June. And I use a six by 12 album from Allie Edwards. And basically I use a half of a page protector A. So it's, um, the full thing is like one page protector A, one side. So for this year, I'm doing the January, or not January, I'm doing the story kit from Allie Edwards and I am using this month card, um, usually the first full week of the month, but not always. And then I have these week number labels from Studio Calico. No, not Studio Calico, Ellie's Studio. So I will be using those each week as well. And what else? Uh, we were, so January started out with us in the middle of a house project. So it started at the very end of December and we were in the process of redoing our entire flooring in our house, repainting the house. We redid our kitchen, like completely remodeled our kitchen. Um, we did a lot of new cabinets in the hallway, in the laundry room, and we did new countertops in the bathroom, in the kitchen. And we also redecorated our front room. So we did a lot of work on the house in 2023. So it was kind of chaotic at the beginning of the year. And in fact, we had our whole house, we had to pack up everything, move everything out because we were redoing the floor in every single room in the entire house. So I ended up going to a hotel and staying at a hotel for the first week in January, just so that I wasn't having to deal with this while I was working as well. So I stayed in the hotel and then Kevin stayed here and kind of supervised them doing the work. And then this day we were packing up the kitchen and moving everything out of the kitchen because the demo for the kitchen was gonna start the next day, I think, or the next week. And this, we were just, um, we were watching Bernie Madoff and I was reading a couple of different books here. Week two is my birthday week and I turned 48 and I really wanted to go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter for my birthday. So we went with our friends Heather and Heidi and went to Wizarding World of Harry Potter for the week, which was so much fun. And I do have a separate travel album and I have a flip through on my channel if you want to see that and haven't watched it already and I'll leave the link for that one um my mom had knee replacement surgery so she was in the hospital while we were actually in Florida and she wasn't very happy so we were sending her pictures of us in Florida and she said it was helping her have a better day so that was fun um and we stayed at the Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. This is us going there. This is just both of us uh, on our way there. So that was pretty much what happened that week. And then we were there this almost this full week here. So all the fun pictures of Diagon Alley and wearing my Spectro Specs. We got the photo package, so we got some really cute photos of all of us. This is us in front of the castle. And then I just did an insert with journaling about our trip. And this is actually from my uh, butterbeer cup that I got at the park. I cut it out into a tag. Just more. This was the best night. So if you watch that video, I talk all about that. This was so much fun. We were like the last people in Diagon Alley at night. So we got this picture with absolutely no one there. It was just really fun. Um, night bus and then us in front of the train. Sorry, hopefully there's not too much glare on this. Uh, week four, we were moving stuff out. So our friend took all of our old cabinets and countertops and they're gonna use that in their cabin. And then we got our cabinets started, our counters, counters and cabinets started. And we were eating, basically we had our bed. <laughs> we were eating on our bed every day. Um, so that was not very fun. We didn't have a kitchen for maybe like a month. And maybe it wasn't that long, but it seemed like that long. And um, 
we ate like crap the whole time. So that wasn't good. <laughs> so we were sitting on our bed. We were binging White Lotus. So. Week five, I decided to do kind of like what we did all day, like what we did every day of the week and then what we ate every day of the week. And you can see just how horrible we were eating. <laughs> Pizza, burgers, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Olive Garden, like not great. Um, more progress pictures of our kitchen. We started watching Ted Lasso. I was reading, or I finished reading Beyond the Wand, the Tom Felton book. I actually listened to it on Audible, which is pretty good. If you like Harry Potter, you might like that. Week six, we I have my annual cardiology appointment, so I have to go every year and get a checkup. So that was that. Um, we got pendant lights installed in the kitchen. I had book club, we were reading Sometimes I Lie, we were watching you, just more house stuff pretty much. And then I started on my Harry Potter travel album. Week seven is Valentine's week and so I just have some of our Valentine's gifts here. One of our friends came into town so we went out to dinner with her. And here our cat are the pendant lights are installed. We still didn't have the backsplash, but we had the cabinets and the countertops and everything. There, and here's another picture of that. Week eight, uh, it's always about the time when we wanna be outside because the weather gets really nice here. So uh, we were out sitting out in our patio, just hanging out out there. And what else? We were working on the house still. This is Kevin doing something with the kitchen sink. Uh, he's working on the sink. I don't know. You can see, I don't know. You probably can't see it, but uh, <laughs> just boxes everywhere. We were unpacking the kitchen and I was putting shelf liners in the kitchen. So again, just more, more house stuff. Week nine, we got the backsplash in on the kitchen and we sent my mom a care package because she still was not feeling good from having her knee replacement surgery. So we sent her this um, care package and we had a Chia pet thing in there with a smiley face. So she sent a picture of her like putting that together. And then we did a day trip to get outside again because we like being outside when the weather's nice. So this one, I just did some of my, what are these called? I can't think of them, Instax. So I just took some Instax of the different cactus that we saw there and just uh, journaled about that or typed up my journaling about that. And then I just love the saguaro cactus. So this was us. And I'm sorry if you hear me sniffing because I do have allergies really bad and I took some allergy medicine, but it hasn't kicked in yet. So it's just allergies. Uh, week 10, let's see, what were we doing week 10? We were trying to figure out paint for the kitchen or actually for the whole house. And we just got paint sample after paint sample. It took so long for us to pick the paint that we wanted. So we were trying all different kinds and we'd paint the wall and then we'd like it during one time of the day and we'd not like it on another time of the day. So we kept going back and getting more paint samples. We were hanging out in the backyard in a hot air balloon, flew over the house, so that was fun. And then I just kind of did a watching, reading, listening little card here. Week 11, more paint samples. We were doing a comfort watch of Big Bang Theory. We watched this um, documentary called Meltdown, which is crazy. And we did the Challenger flight documentary. Here I just did a bullet list of journaling for the week, but I had to cover it up because there was some stuff in there that I didn't want everyone to see. This week, the Silicon Valley Bank collapsed. And when I went into work the next day, they're like, oh, by the way, we bank at Silicon Valley Bank. So they were just telling us about their plans to deal with that. It turned out fine, but it was interesting that we were impacted by that. And then we finally picked out our color, Diverse Beige at 50%. So you can see all the different paint samples that we had. Here, just talking about date night, we watched Casablanca. So we've started watching old movies, um, just like classic movies. And then I was working on the Harry Potter album. Week 12, not a lot was going on. As you can see, I was just tired. Like this is 
my sleep for the month and it's just awful. Like it's supposed to be green and blue and it's all red and yellow, not good. Um, so just really, really tired. I get up at 5 a.m. because I work East Coast hours and so I have to be on at 5 a.m. And that was just, ugh, it's a tiring, tiring schedule for me because I'm a night owl. Um, more work on the house. And then week 13, this was day in the life, I believe. Yeah, day in the life that I did with Allie Edwards documenting community. And it was spring break. So we decided to go to the Arboretum and that was lots of fun um, on the day in the life. So I did complete my day in the life album and I do also have that flip through on my channel if you wanna see that. But we did um, everyday life based on color and so I thought it would it was fun to find the different flowers at the Arboretum that were the different colors of the rainbow. So there's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And this was my favorite cactus there. It was this old, it's called the old man cactus and it's covered in this white fur. I mean, Kev. And then we were also binging Daisy Jones and the Six, which was really good. I liked that a lot. And then we watched Murder Mystery 2. Oops. Um, okay, week 14. Uh, still just dealing with house stuff. So we, we're getting our house painted. This is the original color and then this is the new color that we have. So it's a lot lighter and brighter. And we got rid of all of our old furniture, bought all new furniture. This is our old furniture. Um, all the house was being painted. Finally got my car washed, which was in desperate need. And we were watching The Night Agent. I think this is just another picture. Yeah, of the kitchen, you can see all the different paint samples that we have tried. Week 15, spring. Spring is one of my favorite times of year here. So again, we were getting rid of all of our furniture. Um, Kevin bought me tulips for spring because I love spring and I love tulips are my favorite. And this is the little card, happy spring. And let's see, week 16. There was nothing going on this week. I remember I had like hardly any photos at all. <laughs> So I ended up putting um, Sonic because we go to Sonic all the time to get a drink from there. And I like to put in the receipt just so I can look back and see how much things cost. I got a manicure. Um, there was people working in our yard. So things going on in our yard as well. And then week 17 was week in the life. So I did actually document week in the life and do all of my journaling, all my photos, but I have not finished putting the album together. So I don't have a flip through of that on my channel yet. And the reason is I hated all of my photos. I just didn't feel like I had good photos, but probably back looking back now, I'll probably like them. So maybe I'll work on it this year before we do Week in the Life for this year. But I ended up for, I always kind of put recaps into my project life because I don't want to skip that week in project life. So I just did a recap every single day. I printed out five photos and then just had these journal cards from Allie Edwards. And then, so I have every day of the week. And then I did my journaling here. Week 18, still putting things back together in the house. So we put back together our home gym and our library I guess um so these are these are all books on this half and then this half is all of my photo albums and scrapbooks so I have plenty of room to grow there we went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in the movie theater and then I was binging Firefly Lane which I loved Firefly Lane that was so good here I just did another bullet list of things that were going on that week looks like we went out to P.F. Chang's and just me at work with the Starbucks. And then I put in King Charles Coronation and just some information on that. And then I pulled these off the internet, just info, uh, details about the outfits that they were wearing. 
because I thought that was interesting to see. And then week 19, we got new furniture. So that's what this is, one of the tags from our furniture. We got a new dining set and then, well, we got a dining table and then we got chairs to go, that we found to go with it. And then we got dining stools and an update on COVID-19. This is when they officially closed the pandemic, the emergency part of the pandemic and just some information about what that meant. Going through the car wash again. Apparently I like taking uh, pictures in the car wash. And then um, I was reading Kurt Cobain's journals, which were really interesting. And this is also very interesting. So I have vitiligo and I realized that I don't have it anymore. And I don't know what, how or why. Um, so I thought that was very interesting that that just happened. May, uh, kind of, I said, like I said, run of the mill summer week for us. Um, we were watching Big Bang Theory, reading Firefly Lane. So I started reading the books. I actually read both of them after I watched the series. We were looking at home decor for the house. And then I was working on my sister's package because we always do or we used to, we don't, we aren't doing it this year, but we did, um, craft packages that we would exchange every month. We had a monsoon. That's Kevin's bike. He was out at his favorite little coffee shop that he likes to go to and more Sonic again. This week, my, I had two nieces that graduated high school. So that was fun. Um, I started ordering from Stitch Fix. And so this is just information about my order. We went to see Fast X or we watched Fast X and I did not like that one. I think we watched it at the drive-in actually. Yeah, that's what we did. We watched it at the drive-in and we ended up leaving early. We just didn't like it. We watched The Muppets Mayhem on Disney Plus, which we liked. Week 22. I was reading, you'll see me a lot of times falling asleep reading. We watched this Vietnam War documentary, which was really good. Um, it was hard to watch. So these are all like famous photos of the Vietnam War. And I wrote kind of my, just my feelings about the documentary and the war here. And then I captured the six photos and the titles of them and what years they were published or I guess. Um, and then we started getting a delivery service for food from Hungry Root. And so I put our car that they send you with the recipes here. Week 23. I was really into the show Poker Face. So in the summer, there's not a lot to do here. We do watch a lot of TV in the summer. We watch a lot of TV anyway. Um, here, this is me trying one of these Hungry Root recipes. Obviously, I did not like it. Um, I loved this. I found these new ice cream bars that are dairy-free. So love those. Those are really good if you ever get a chance to eat those. This is our kitchen finally all done. It has the backsplash. It has the new paint. It has the pendants. Everything's in there. So June, it was finally done in June. We started in December. Uh, but that was like, you know, paint, cabinets, everything, all the decor, all the furniture. So it took quite a while. Week 24, we were giving our old fridge to our landscapers. So we had it out on the porch. I just thought that was funny. We went and got ice cream with our friends. Um, Kevin was taking his friends to the airport here and we were watching their dog. I think this was just a thank you from her for um, us watching the dog. Kevin was working in the garage. Week 25 was the Titan, Titan submersive, yeah, Titan submersive. And so we, I was like really into this and I was really, really, really hoping that they found them alive so I was very sad when they were not alive but I thought it was interesting so I put it in here and I did like a timeline 
of the whole story as it unfolded. I put in this infographic of the sub because I thought it was very interesting and then the passengers that were on the sub and we watched Citizen Kane. We celebrated Juneteenth and I got a new purse. And week 26, we went to Albuquerque for 4th of July. So that's Kevin's family, New Mexico. I read this book, Five Survive. It was really good. I loved that book. It was so good. And this is the bridge that's in Stranger Things. I don't remember what season. I think season five. Um, this is 11, Walking on the Bridge. And so we went and found that same bridge and I took a picture of me on the bridge. I think I should put like a label of what this is because I'm not going to remember that later. And then the last page I just put in an update on the sub. So after they found that it imploded, they ended up bringing up pieces of it. And so I have photos of that that I got off the internet. And then that Ocean Gate, that's the company that owned the sub, um, stopped all of their operations after that implosion. So that is it for part one or volume one. And I will be back with volume two. Thanks for watching. Bye.